So rise and join the singing of the entrance here. God's family with confidence let us ask the Lord to and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned through my thoughts and my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to him who sows and bread to him who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. From all their afflictions, God will deliver the just. From all their afflictions, God will deliver the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all the afflictions, God will deliver Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blast with shame. When he, when the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he 
he saved him. From all the bad things God will deliver the The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all the afflictions, God will deliver the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. From all the afflictions, God will deliver the just. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In your prayers, do not rather on like the pagans. They think they will win a hearing by the sheer multiplication of words. Do not imitate them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us the wrong we have done as we forgive those who wrong us. Subject us not to the triumph, but deliver us from the evil one. If you forgive the faults of others, your heavenly Father will forgive you, yours. If you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ang panalangin, ganito kayo manalangin. Ang ama namin, bahagi yun na kung saan ay pumapatak sa pangunahing pagkilos. Ano yun? Yung pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ano ba yung kalooban ng Diyos? Paano ba natin malaman ang kalooban ng Diyos? Ay kung minsan nga yung kalooban ng tao, hindi natin malaman. Paano pa kaya yung kalooban ng Diyos? Yung may malamang, hindi pala kung saan tayo magmimisa. Sa area 6 and 7, kaya binaybay na lang namin. So, bahagi yun. No? Sana din po ay pinapaalam ni naman sa opisina no? kung saan banda no? so, bahagi yun ng pagtugon no? eh, yung kalooban pa kaya ng Diyos no? yung kalooban lamang ng tao hindi pa natin malaman yung kalooban pa kaya ng Diyos no? so bahagi yun no? na kung saan ay makita natin kung ano ba yung kalooban ng Diyos paano ba malaman yung kalooban ng Diyos at paano sumunod sa kalooban ng Diyos so kung doon po ay dalawang bahagi no? yung malaman ang kalooban ng Diyos 
at ang pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Kasi baka mamaya akala natin kalooban ng Diyos yung pala kalooban ng natin. Kalooban ng natin. Kaya napakahalaga po ang kinakailangan muna natin sa pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos ay una ay yung discerning the will of the Father. Ano pa paano ba natin malalaman kung ito yung kalooban ng Diyos? Bahagi yun akong saan ay medyo may kalawakan kung ano yung kalooban ng Diyos. Ano ba yung gustong mangyari sa akin ng Diyos? So, kaya bahagi nito ay alin? Ay napakahalaga yung buhay panalangin. Ano yung buhay panalangin? Uh, ay di yung pakipag-usap sa Diyos. Kinakailangan natin kausapin ng Diyos. Kasi hindi natin malalaman kung ano yung kanyang kalooban kung hindi natin siya kinakausap. Kaya doon papasok yung bahagi ng panalangin. Hindi pa pwedeng sabihin natin na sinusunod natin ang kalooban ng Diyos. Ang una nga muna dyan ay nakausap mo pa ang Diyos. Kasi uh, baka mamaya at kalimitan, we presume na yung bagay na ito ay kalooban ng Diyos. Kasi ang kinausap lang natin, sarili lang natin. Hindi talaga natin nakausap ang Diyos. Kaya, bahagi po ng pagtugon, yung kahalagahan ng uh, time for discernment. Pagninilay. Para malaman kung ano yung kalooban ng Diyos. At makita po natin, maraming mga pagkataon na may pamamanig natin kung ito ba yung kalooban ng Diyos. Bahagi na kung saan ay ay kinakailangan natin yung patuloy na pagninilay lalong-lalong sa mga hakbang tinatahak natin sa daigdig na ito. Kaya, uh, sabi nga po natin, may mga indication or indicators. Pero ang una mo na ay alin, kausapin mo ang Diyos. At alamin mo sa Kanya kung ano ang iyong, kung ano yung Kanyang kalooban. Well, maliwanag din naman sana kung ano yung iyong kalooban. Pero bahagi ng paginilay na, na kaya nga napakahalaga. Kaya nga, tulad sinabi nga po natin, no? yung three pillars of land. Ay alin, isa rin ay alin, panalangin. Panalangin. Kinakailangan natin palaging nagdarasal palagi nagdarasal. At sa ating panalangin, kinakailang alamin natin kung ano yung kalooban ng Diyos. Kalimitan mo kasi, sinasabi natin kung ano yung gusto natin sa Diyos. Pero yung pangalawang bahagi, kuminsan nakakalimutan natin ano yung gusto ng Diyos. Paano natin malaman yun? Ah, ay kinakailangan ilagay natin yung ating sarili sa katahimikan. Katahimikan, hindi lamang ng kapaligiran, ngunit katahimikan ng ating puso. Ano ba yung kalaoban ng Diyos? And then later on, makita natin na alin, ah, tsaka yung pagsunod tsaka yung pagsunod. At maaring may mga pagkakataon na yung kalooban ng Diyos ay hindi natin kalooban. 
Meron din ang pagkakataon na yung kalooban ng Diyos ay yung ating kalooban. Mga bahagi na kung saan ay nagkapareho. Pero hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon nagkakapareho. At para masunod yung kanyang kalooban, lalong-lalong na sa mga pagkakataon na hindi ito katulad ng aming kalooban, ay alin? Yung tinatawag po natin yung yung asset of the mind. Na alin? Ah, kung ito yung kalooban ng Diyos, hindi bahala ang Diyos. Kung hindi man ito yung aking kalooban. So, isinusuko ko sa Diyos yung aking kalooban para sa kanyang kalooban. Kaya bahagi dito yung alin, yung self-surrender. Pagsusuko ng sarili. Sa nais na mangyari ng Diyos. At wala tayong dapat na ikababahala na maari mang ang, ang mangyayari dito ay alin. Yeah? Maari kasing pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos, sometimes it, it will entails humiliation. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon ng pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos ay para sa ikatatanyag natin. Sometimes yung pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos entails humiliation. Maaring ang pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos ay uh, ikapupula natin. Pero kung maliwanag sa atin na ito yung kalooban ng Diyos, uh, walang problema. Walang problema. Kasi maliwanag na uh, ang ito ay bahagi ng pagtugon sa atin ng kalooban ng Diyos. Sigurado po, kundi kalooban ng Diyos, it will lead us to holiness. Hindi natin ipagkakasala. Hindi dapat natin ipagkakasala. Yun yung isa sa mga aspeto na mag magpapaliwanag sa atin na hindi ito kalo na ito ay kalooban ng Diyos. Hindi natin ipagkakasala. So, yun yung bahagi ng uh, paanya kasi sabi nga natin ay yun ang kalooban ng Diyos kasi ang sala ay kabaligtaran ng kalooban ng Diyos. So, kaya matabi natin ay sala sumala Sumala saan? Sa kalooban ng Diyos. So, pero kung ano man, kung ito'y kalooban ng Diyos, kahit na ito'y humantong sa humiliation, ah, alam natin, ito ay ikabubuti natin. At ano yung kabubuti? Ay ikaliligtas natin. Ikaliligtas natin maaring pangit sa pagtingin ng tao pero siguradong ikaliligtas natin ikapagpapapuri ng Diyos ikadudulot i, ng buhay na walang hanggang at po yung uh, idalangin natin sa harapan ng pong may kapal kasi pagkat kalimitan no, ay hindi madali hindi madali yung kalooban ng Diyos. At kung mababansin nga po natin, ang pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos ay alin, ay, ay muli pinapaalala sa atin na ito ay, ay dumadaan sa tinatawag nating misteryo paskwal. Ano yun? Paghihirap, pagkamatay, at muling pagkabuhay. Nandiyan yung Pascal Mystery. No? We have to remind of the Pascal Mystery. Na nang ibig sabihin, ah, kung may paghihirap at walang pagkabuhay, ah, hindi yan kalooban ng Diyos. No? Kung mayroon namang muling pagkabuhay at walang paghihirap, ah, well, hindi rin yan kalooban ng Diyos. No? Kinakailangan nandoon yung misteryo Pascual. No? 
Andun palagi yung misteryo, Pascual. Hindi pwedeng mawala ang isa sa elemento ng misteryo, Pascual. No? Hindi yun ang hindi yun ang pamamaraan na ipinamanghig ng Diyos. Kaya nga nung sinabi ni Jesus na I am the way. I am the way. Tinuturo na alin. Yung I am the way, ay alin. Pascal mystery. Suffering, death, and resurrection. Andun palagi yung tatlong yun. Hindi pwedeng mawala ang isa. Pag sinabi nating pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Kaya po, ito yung idalangin natin sa araw pa ng buong mikapan sapagkat sabi nga po natin ay ay uh, paraging manal, madali yung pagdarsal ng ama namin. No? Pero kumisan po ay yun yung madaling ang uh, ang ma, ang isang katanungan na kinakailangan din natin palaging sagutin. Ito pa ay ginagawa ko sa ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. May maliwanag ba na ito ay ay ito ba yung ipinaalam ng Diyos sa akin? At sinusunod ko ba yung pinaalam ng Diyos sa akin? Hindi pa pwedeng uh, tiyamba lang. No? Hindi pwedeng tiyamba lang. Hindi pwedeng accidental hero no? ang labas natin. Hindi. No? Pag pinag-usapan natin yung pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ah, ah, bakit mo nagawa yan? Ah, Natiyampahan ko lang. Ah, hindi. No? Hindi pa pwedeng yung pagsunod sa kalaoban ng Diyos ay tiyamba lang. Kasi bakit? Merong asset. Asset of the mind and asset of the will. Yung pagtugon ng isip at pagtugon ng kalaoban na humahantong sa maliwanag na pagkilos. Kaya ah uh, Kung inyong maalala, no? kaya nga sabi ko noong una, yung, kung maalala nyo yung sinasabi ko sa inyo noong na presence of God. No? Presence of God. No? Kasi kung hindi natin, sabi nga eh, na ayan yung gamitin ko yung salitang amoy, naaamoy ang Diyos. Minakailang no? maamoy natin ang Diyos. No? Ano ba ito? Amoy Diyos. Gabi amoy langit no? o amoy imperno. No? Kasi doon natin malalaman kung asan yung kalaoban ng Diyos. No? Kasi we need to see the presence of God no? para malaman natin yung kanyang kalaoban. At yung dalangin natin sa harapan ng poong may kapala. No? Dilangin natin sa harapan ng poong may kapal. Sapagkat, lalong-lalo na ngayong kapanahonan na ito, marami tayong iniisip. Ano? Iniisip at marami tayong abala. Ano? Pero, sabi ko nga, ano mang, sa dami nating mga pag-aabala, baka mamaya hindi natin na itatanong. Ano? Baka yung ginagawa natin ay hindi nakalugod-lugod sa Diyos. Kaya, Ito yung palagi natin i-dialosal. Sundin ang loob mo. Napaka-iksi. Pero, napaka-bigat. Idalangin natin sa harapan ng poong may kapalang. Sabagat, hindi natin ito magagawa simply by being human. Kaya sabi ko nga, kinakailangan natin palagi ang manalangin. At isa sa panalangin ni Alin, ah, Ingin natin ng tulong, ang tulong ng Espiritu Santo para ito ay maisa ka para.
Manalangin kayo mga kabatid. Pray, pray that our sacrifices may be. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your heart. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is fully right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up your minds, and bestow both virtue and his reward. Through Christ our Lord, through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim <coughs> worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. become for us the body of God of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. Maybe to his disciples, saying, Take this out of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread You are holy indeed, O Lord, of all the Holy holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him things, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him things. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> The mystery of faith. Lord Jesus Christ who said to apostles, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving things that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, Benaventura, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, <coughs> Jesus Christ. that we may do the will of the Father.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be truly free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace in the unity of your kingdom, when you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let offer its other the sign of peace. peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. 